What's crap? Welcome back to a brand new video today, boys. We're ranking the worst towns in Ireland. The very worst that Ireland has to offer. The most inhabitable, crime-ridden places in the entire country in today's video. Well, not really crime. To be fair, if you're getting stabbed in broad daylight, the country as a whole mustn't be that safe. So I will be doing the best ones next week. So stay tuned for that. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Drop a like in today's video. I really, really appreciate it. Whiteboard for today's video. Donald... Take the knee, Shan, Stephen, me, Nan, Carmuck, and Jug. If you want to go on the whiteboard for the next video, comment down below the best town in Ireland. It could be a city, it could be a town, and I'll pick one of these for the next video. The best towns in Ireland should be out next week. Uh, today we're doing the worst. Let's get straight into the video. It's Holocaust week, I think, isn't it? Holocaust Memorial Week. Probably not the best time to be wearing a Bayern Munich top, but you know. Uh. So how this video is going to work is basically I'm going to go on to two different websites. For example, what I did with the top five best accents in the country back in September is I went on to a website called the Irish Post and they basically had like a ranking of all the best accents and I based up my own conclusion. What I'm going to do for today's video is I'm going to go on to two different websites. One of them is called Money Inc. Probably American, so we'll take that with a pinch of salt again. Unless you're in Mali and the only salt you get is in the water. It's not a pinch of salt a metaphor. Thought, look, we'll use the both of these as like an index. So this is the first website we're going to be looking at. It's called Money Inc. Again, I I have no background on this uh, website. It could be, you know, a very racist site. It could condone the KKK. I really don't know. Hopefully it's not bad. Liz Flynn is the author. Liz Flynn has worked as a full-time writer since 2010. Oh, fuck. Lifford, The Crossroads. I mean, it looks like fucking Wales with all the sheep, man. All just ready to be shagged. Prime position. Crossroads. I've actually seen this. It's up in Mead. We got in GeoGuessr and apparently it pissed up a lot of people. Abby Fields is shit show. It is fucking horrendous. Letterkenny was one I was surprised to see on this list. I thought Letterkenny was a decent down little town. An Irish person with a notebook. It's like back during the famine when you had ration and stamp books, you know what I mean? Like, if you're fat during a famine, like, it's like Kim Jong-un being, like, massive and obese and the entire country starving with no food. It's just funny. <laughs> you know, funny old thing about the famine. Ireland invented it and Africa stole it. So I'm going to go on to Google the maps. Little fucking ginger muppet. On the College Times list, this is the first place I'm going to go to in today's video. Butterfin County Cork. It is possibly one of the deadest places to live in. I know there's a few people who watch my videos from Butterfin. It's fucking awful. If you compare it to like Mitch's town and you know Cork City and, and Mallow it's just fucking shite. You'd swear the fucking war came to the town it's that bad. So basically if people ever say to me Jake Limerick is a shithole. First of all I'll agree Croom and you fucking Raquel and Abbey Field. It's not the greatest place is it? I'd be like you're from Cork. You have Mallow from I and fucking Butterfin. You have no moral high ground over me at all. Butterfin. It's just so bad. It's just so bad. Okay. It's really dead but there's a bit like the N20 goes through it so like people who are going to Cork or people who are going to Mallow go through it. I think the average population age here is like fucking 75. It's a retirement place, like Middleton. They couldn't even make the flag straight, just a bent fucking town. Like, <laughs> what am I seeing? Place just completely in ruins. They plant the tree outside to make it look all fucking geo-friendly, but Jesus Christ. Look at this for a church. Paddy Power. <laughs> I clicked on the church. Not the Paddy Power sign. You silly thing. They have a fucking website. Oh my god. Is he in the mafia or is he... Oh, he's a priest. He's phone number and all sorts on this. I better not. Go on, son. That's the first town on the list. Not not a great place. Not a great place to start as well, especially, you know, from a Cork standpoint. But um, yeah, number one on the list of the worst place to live in the country is Butterfield. And it's actually second on this list as well. After Larne and County Antrim. We're not going up the north today um, for various reasons. Was Limerick playing up in Antrim or Belfast the last day? There was no bookies odds for the game. You know, six to one team bus from Limerick will get rocks thrown through the window. And uh, yeah, Antrim's in the top five twice on this list. So I think it'd be rude not to go to Larne in County Antrim. So Larne County Antrim is one of the worst towns in the country. Genuinely a terrible place to live. The standard of living is so low. It's in the north of Ireland as well. So there's not really much you can do. It's just a bit of a shithole. Up by Ballycastle, huh? There's a guy that watches these videos and he's from Ballycastle. And I always see his name in the comments. Like, the shield of Ballycastle or something. It's great. Shithole. It's a major passenger and freight for blah, 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 blah. Larne is administered by the East. The Mid and the East. Oh, Jesus, the Arabs. I've never been to the North of Ireland. Not once in my entire life. There's reason for that. With the amount of shit that I've said over the last, like, six months about, you know, Belfast, Antrim, Londonderry. It's not, it wouldn't be good for me to go up there. But there's a couple of Northern Ireland videos coming soon. So I feel like I'm neglecting that part of the audience. And um, we're doing Derry Girls soon as Irish Rewind, and we're doing Irish Jew guys to the north of Ireland. So, both are coming up in the next like two weeks, so stay tuned for that. Throw us randomly into the middle of the town. You can just tell the British colonized this and was like, I just couldn't give a fuck. Lions, Ross, Hilditch, these are your TDs, boys. No wonder the country's fucked. The DUP, fuck off. Joe, it's so sad about the north of Ireland as well. It's gone to shit so badly, the British are just gonna give it back to us for free. So, if this place is costing them 15 billion and it still looks like fucking wank. If you're from Larne in County Antrim, let me know in the 
comments down below. I'm really curious. Fish and chips since, since 1975. I wonder how many car bombs came through this place. Ah, go on, Dorothy, you good thing. What's she doing? A fucking Margaret Thatcher impersonation. <laughs> Theresa May still in the wheelchair. Look at that. She was all right, wasn't she, in the end, Theresa May? Everyone thought she was a bit of a fucking wanker, but in the end, you know, Theresa May, I mean, when you have fucking Boris Johnson in charge, it's, you know, it's like, look, it makes no sense. I don't give a fuck. I actually don't give a fuck. It makes no sense. Ireland is just so clean. Like, 131, Dublin, 123. Just simple. Like, you just cannot get it wrong. It's so weird, man. Like, being in the north and the police not being like Garda Shia Kona. That's so fucked up. Like, I will literally, if I ever went to like Australia, Germany, reunite with the Hitler youth, Riverdale's gone to shit. The fucking Netflix show. So is Larn, apparently. <laughs> You know, coincidence. The Queen's 70 year jubilee as well. Nobody gave a fuck. Like, literally, no one gave a fuck that the Queen was like 70 years in the throne. It's just gone to shit. Like, they should have got Andrew in charge, man. That been... Imagine Andrew was next in line to the throne. That would be amazing. And here you can see in his natural habitat outside Ulster Bank. <laughs> 1931. That was definitely bombed by the IRA. Like, completely. That's Larn. Not, it's actually not as bad as what I thought. Definitely not one of the best places I feel like to live in the north of Ireland. I wonder if the crime rate is, you know, low, you know, because Belfast is the main hub for all terrorist attacks. Oh, Christ, no. <laughs> like... Yeah, let's just move on to the next place. So yeah, so the next worst town in the country, Letterkenny. Apparently, it's one of the worst towns in the country, according to this website, moneyinc.com. Yeah, it's just as bad as the Ulster Bank, to be honest. She's from Taiwan. <laughs> What's Paddy doing, man? He's just, he's just, he's just lost. He's looking for his car. He's just fucked it like he's just gone. So based off of this road alone, I can kind of tell it's not like the best place. It's just, yeah, it just looks a bit run down. It just looks depressing, if I'm being honest. Polish shop. The city is one of the most disadvantaged in the country with high unemployment and equally high poverty. I thought they said poverty, not fucking Indonesia. Grassroots football. Love that, boys. Okay, it's getting better. The fuck is this gay shit? And the boys. Right, that's uh, Letter Kenny Donegal. Not really much I can say about that, to be honest. I d I've never been here before, and I'm kind of just going off the word of this fucking website. I always thought Letter Kenny was, like, nice. Right, next on the list. I couldn't uh, do this video without putting in some self-deprecating humor. I feel like I rip into enough people, I have to rip into myself for a second. So, next on the list, the worst places to live in the country, the worst towns slash cities to live in the country, Limerick City. Listen, I think Limerick's quite nice. <laughs> like, if you give a, a drive through Limerick, you'd want to have the windows up. Uh, it's just not fun. If you park in, in Toman Park while there's a match on, you have a fair chance of getting robbed while you're inside the match. Terrible. <laughs> in terms of the worst place to live in the country, I would not want to live in Limerick City at all. It's just, it just would not be one of those places I would want to live like it's very scenic it's very very nice it's a typical city like you have this in cork city you have this in dublin as well you just would not want to live here like i feel like this would actually get quite scary at night you know what i mean a lot of homeless people in Limerick as well. It's just, I feel like Limerick is just one of those places that got heavily let down by the government over the last like 15, 20 years. It's just like heavily let down by the government. So yeah, I'd, I'd put Limerick in, the, in one of the worst places to live in the country. I wouldn't want to live there at all and, I, and I'm and i regularly inside her. Like. So the next place on the list of the worst towns in Ireland, Longford Town. Longford Town is, oh my God, it is just terrible. According to the Irish Sun, Longford isn't a great place to live. You value personal happiness. So basically, it's being crowned as the most depressing town in Ireland. I've never been to Longford Town. There's a couple of towns around here that I was going to pick. There was Roscommon, there was Mullingar, there was Tullamore, Navin, Athboy was one of them as well. And I've decided to go for Longford Town. because it, it just seems like the most depressing cunt of a place I've ever seen in my entire life. The first thing we see, Shazam. <laughs> what in the fuck is this? Monaghan's of Longford, the complete house furnishers. There's no need for this place to be this big. All day parking, two quid. Free parking for Monaghan's customers. Jesus Christ. The fucking state it is. What is this shit, man? It's not Legoland. There's no kids here anyway, so you know what I mean? Hello there. He, she. De Deborah's playing Pokemon Go. <laughs> Bless her. That's not good. That's not a good sign for Longford at all. They're in the top three worst places to live in the country, by the way. This is, this is officially the top three worst towns in Ireland to live in, by the way. This just not fun. This does not look good. This looks like fucking Auschwitz. Again, this was ranked the worst town to live in in the entire country. I can kind of tell why, man. It just, this place seems like it has absolutely no vibe going for it whatsoever. Like, it just seems absolutely just peak of depression. Declan's Barbershop. Go on, Declan, you fucking Dumbledore-looking thing. Flatterty's campaign office, Fianna Fall. Pff, fuck off. It's Joy Diaz. Just walking on the road. Just fucking suicidal, is she? Just couldn't give a fuck. Just walking on the road. There's a footpath there for a reason, love. To be fair, I wouldn't want to go near that spar either, if I'm being honest. Like, Apache Pizza, okay. L small W's for the town. Small W's. But yeah, that's Longford Town. So yeah, Longford's officially the third worst town in the country, in my opinion. So the second worst town to live in in Ireland... 
Carrick on Shore. Apparently, it's the top three worst place in the country. Tipperary is an interesting place, isn't it? I don't really like ever think about Tipperary as like being anything special. You know what I mean? Like it's just Tipperary just exists. Tipperary gets an awful doing in terms of like these websites. I seen one for Clamel earlier. Like, look, Clamel's in Fort, so it's not looking great. There used to be a hospital in Carrick on Shore, and I don't know how long ago that was. But apparently, what I've been told is it got closed down. If a if a hospital gets taken away from a town, that's not great. Like that probably means that it's just not gone well really, do you know what I mean? A little playground. All the kids in uniform, love that. That was not the way that it was meant to come out of my mind. Oh, this is just, that's not good at all. Like, that's just not, that's just not a good look for the county as a whole, Tipperary, do you know what I mean? Again, if any of you go here, or you've been here before, let me know what it's like. Jesus Christ, man. The IRA had their way with this place. Fucking bot, like, was this car bombed or something? Like, what the fuck? Okay, this town does not look great. Customer parking only. You wouldn't, you'd think it's a fucking funeral home. The mountains around Tipperary are absolutely gorgeous. Like, it, it does look depressing as fuck it looks a bit run down the colors of the houses don't look great uh, the, the cars look a bit fucked. Even the crows look a, a bit depressed. It's just not a great look for the town, to be honest. The second worst town in Ireland, Carrick on Shore in Tipperary. Okay, so in last place, the worst Irish town in the entire country. It's just terrible. Who the fuck would want to live here in their right mind? Especially with their accents as well. Like, it's just awful. Well, by it's Cork City. The worst town in the country, Cork City. It's just, it's terrible. Home to the likes of Kino Matany. It's all about the Bundy. It's just not a great town to live in. Like, all the people that you'd be seeing really really annoying accents Limerick is way better as a county as a town even it's just way better than Cork on every aspect the Cork radios are all shit they all just talk a load of rubbish and nonsense if you ever walk through Cork there's no fucking place to park your car at all so Cork has the highest reports of arson which is burning buildings <laughs> like you just can't take it away from them. Like, one of the worst towns in Ireland, the worst, in fact, according to a lot of different websites that I've looked at, is Cork City. The second largest city in the country, after Dublin, I think. It sits on the River Lee, so Lee must have been loving it. Just social rejects. They're all, they're both ginger. He looks like Stephen Merchant. They're all just vibing. The gingers stick together in Cork. Oh, there's another one. <laughs> what the fuck? It's going on. It's like fucking AIDS. It's spreading all over the place. Is that her natural hair color? Definitely not. It's a dark town. Like you have a lot of places like this in the in the town. Like it just doesn't look nice. A lot of vandalism. And again, is the number it's the number one ranked county for arson. That's burning buildings. Like putting buildings on fire. Like <laughs> you can't overlook that. Like at all. And the accents, man. Jesus, don't get me started. Obviously, I'm joking about Cork. It's not the worst county. It's not the worst town. It's all for the bit of banter. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. The worst places to live in Ireland. The worst towns in Ireland ranked i think we did like six of them put post notifications on all that crack hope you guys enjoyed the video comment down below where you're from take on the whiteboard for the next video yeah cheer for watching hope you guys enjoyed the video we'll do the top five best ones next week the top five best irish towns to live in i'll tell you the next one cheer for watching schlong the fool